Hello, friends, and welcome back to r slash I don't work here, lady. I think it's a good day to tell three great stories about this topic and the first of them. Some assembly required. Good luck. On mobile, so apologies for any formatting issues. First post as well. This happened several years ago when I was the nighttime charge nurse over the ICU. I just finished a 12-hour shift at my hospital and it turned into a 14-hour shift because of a rapid response right before shift change. Patient responded well. I was exhausted and had to return for a fourth shift in nine hours. All I wanted were some items to drop in the slow cooker so I'd have something to eat when I got up tonight. I stopped at a well-known big box store that sells groceries, clothes, electronics, the works, I'm wearing royal blue scrubs, a name badge with a big RN under it, and forgot to take my stethoscope off, so it's hanging around my neck. The employees here, well, don't. As I'm walking towards the store, I see an elderly couple struggling to load a large box in their SUV parked at the front of the store. And I mean old, 90-plus, shaky hands teetering around with limited mobility, the kind I see with a med list three pages long. No way would this hips take the weight without snapping and I've worked enough tonight. I approached quickly and addressed the female half of the couple offering help. It was gladly accepted and I got their TV loaded with very little difficulty. It was more cumbersome than heavy. I'm chatting with the woman who's explaining it's a gift for their son and her husband hadn't wanted to wait for help. I'd wondered why an employee wasn't helping. That's when it happened. I'll be RN, she'll be EB for entitled B word. EB, hey, hey. Startled, we stop our conversation and look over. It's a lady in her 50s dressed in a cheap-looking beige pantsuit with a get-your-manager hairstyle standing about 15 feet away with a hand on her overly broad hip. EB, if you are about to be done, I need help over here. Then she pointed to her cart with two boxes of bookshelves, some assembly required, and I realize she thinks I work here. RN, oh sorry, I don't work, EB. You're already making me late, just get it done, and don't scratch my paint up. The elderly lady and I exchange looks of disbelief and I try again. RN, I don't work here, EB, just get it done. She then steps away from her cart to grab her purse, grumbling about effing idiots and is digging for her keys when the cart rolls further away and one wheel goes off the curb. The entire uneven load causes the cart to topple over. I instinctively jump forward trying to prevent everything from falling. I was unsuccessful. EB, who has now turned to see her particle board bookshelves spilled on the cement, corners of the boxes crushed, and one has torn open with a few pieces and packaging now exposed, EB completely loses her crap and becomes a raging thunder C word. EB, what the F? You effing moron. Pick them up. Damn it. Effing, I'm going to have you fired. You owe me new bookshelves and I'm late. At this point, I'm done. RN, pick them up yourself. I don't work here. I then turn to go inside when I feel her grab my sleeve and try to yank me around. I jerk my sleeve out of her grip and turn to face her, now violently red face. She opens her mouth to start screaming again, but I put my finger in her face and say, no, don't touch me, shut the hell up, I don't work here, and even if I did, I'd quit before I'd help clean up your crap. EB stands there speechless, mouth opening and closing, sputtering in shock that I've dared raise my voice at her. That's when the manager and an employee come out. As EB sees the manager and finds her voice, EB, are you the manager? This man damaged my bookshelves and is refusing to pay for them. I just stare in shock, seriously. Having realized that a man in bright blue scrubs with a stethoscope and a big RN badge really doesn't work here, instead of apologizing, she chose to double down on the craziness and now accuses me of breaking her stuff. Before I can voice my denial, the elderly gentleman I'd helped earlier steps in and explains the situation to the manager. EB is still voicing complaints, but the manager realizes the real situation and apologizes to me and the couple. I'm still standing by watching angrily as the manager deals with EB and inspects the bookshelves. They're not damaged. He offers her two new boxes, but EB's now done with the whole situation. She says no. She's already late because of me, glares at me, and says to the manager, just load them. I'm already late enough because of this. The manager and employee then lift the boxes up and get them wedged into the lady's car. As I shake my head and go to enter the store, I'm stopped by the elderly lady I'd helped earlier. Lady, sir, thank you so much for helping us with the TV. I'm so sorry some people are so rude. 
She then reaches for my hand to shake. As she folds both her fragile hands around mine, I can feel something in her palm she's giving me. Lady whispering, don't look, wait till she leaves. I slid the package into my scrub pocket and the lady walked away. EB then got in her car and without apologizing or thanking anyone, peeled out and drove away. I finally entered the store to grab my food items and when I reached into my pocket, I pulled out a plastic bag with a bunch of screws and hardware. I realized immediately that that sweet little old lady took advantage of the commotion to steal the hardware out of EB's ripped box. I couldn't believe it. I had the biggest grin on my face as I did my shopping, and now I have a new petty revenge hero to idolize. Strange but funny encounter with confused Karen. I'm new to Reddit, and this is my first post. I was told this was a good place to put stories, that there's basically a whole different language on here, so please forgive me for any mistakes. I'm not entirely sure how to word things or what Reddit terms to use, so sorry if Karen isn't the correct term for the lady in this story. Backstory. This was a little under a year ago. I used to work as a dishwasher at a local restaurant. I wore a bright blue shirt that had the restaurant's name on the front corner, like most company shirts do, and the number, address, and name of the restaurant on the back, and some old dark blue jeans I had. This does look sort of similar to the manager's uniform at the dollar store I went to. Their uniform is a bright blue shirt with a store name on the front corner and black pants. I live in a very small town and everyone dresses super casual. Even the uniforms at the dollar store look really casual. My town's so small that most people work at the towns around us, so there aren't many employees at the dollar store, and it's hard to find one if they aren't at the register. It takes them a few minutes to get to the register when a customer's waiting. I usually don't mind because I never shop when I'm in a hurry. I'm also socially awkward and don't talk too much to people, so this encounter was just really, really strange for me. The cast. Me? is me, duh. And CK is confused Karen. The story. I just got off my shift at work and decided I wanted to hit up the dollar store for some snacks. I'm one of those people who never get a cart and rarely get a basket, so I was just carrying around some snacks, and the store's super empty. I'm pretty sure I was the only person there. Suddenly, I hear this lady behind me. This lady defiantly, like a soccer mom. I don't really know what a Karen looks like, but this lady was somewhere between the ages of 30 and 40 and had a short skirt on, a white tank top, and a weird sort of bob haircut with some sort of flair to it. It looked like a haircut someone really sassy would have, and she was a dirty blonde. I don't know if that plays a role or not in her character. Anyway, the exchange roughly went like this. CK, excuse me, do you know where some product is? Me. Thinking she just needed help and couldn't find an employee. Um, I think they're that way in the corner aisle. I pointed in the direction of the product. CK, thank you. Running off in the direction I pointed at. Me, watching her for a moment, then heading to the register after grabbing a couple more things. As usual for a weekday around noon, the cash register was empty, so I was waiting for an employee to notice me. Just as I was about to ring the little bell to try to get someone's attention, the CK comes zooming around the corner and looks at me kind of funny, then laughs a little. CK, oh, I've never seen a store with such a backwards checkout. She then goes around the counter to the cashier's side and waits for me to ring her up. Me, super confused, staring at this lady. Um, it's not backwards. CK looked at me really confused. What? Then why? As she's saying that, she's looking around and realizes she's on the wrong side of the register. Oh crap, I'm on the wrong side. Then she came around to the correct side just as an employee was coming to check us out. Me, noticing the employee coming and looking at the CK, you can go ahead of me if you want. I let her in front because she seemed embarrassed and also in kind of a hurry. Plus, if I just made a mistake like that, I'd probably want to jump off a cliff ASAP. CK. Oh, really? Thank you. She moved ahead of me as I backed up and completed her pay and leaves in a hurry. I then paid for my stuff and left. The employee didn't really say anything about it, so I guess they didn't see her on the wrong side or just didn't care. It was only after this experience all the questions popped into my head, like... Did she not see me carrying stuff? Did I really look like an employee there? And other questions like that. Then after a while, it was questions like, my shirt and pants are covered in bleach spots and food stains. How the heck did she mistake me for an employee there? I'm sorry, this story's probably getting pretty boring, 
but it's been repeating in my head because it was just so awkward for me, and I felt like I had to share it for whatever reason. Also, I'm not entirely sure why I chose to call this lady a Karen. Maybe she was a novice Karen and hadn't learned the rules of the Karen Club yet? I don't work in this pet department or this store. After work one day, I walked into Whale Fart to get a few things. I happened to work for Pet Smort at the time, and we had red shirts that had Pet Smort in big letters on the back. I'm in the pet aisle getting some stuff for my cats. My store was too expensive. And this guy tapped me on the shoulder. Hey, can you get some fish for me? Me. From the tanks? I don't work here, man. If you want fish from me, you'll have to go down the street where I work. And I pointed at my shirt. Guy. Oh, what the hell? I can't find anyone here. Fish or fish? Like, you don't know how to bag them? Me. I don't work here, man. I'm a cashier at PetSmart. I have no idea how to handle fish. He said nothing, just stood there staring at the fish. I just shake my head and walk away. He didn't run after me or anything, but I never went into another store with my uniform on again just in case. Hey guys, thanks for watching so much and I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next video.